Let's get right into it. Number 6. The Infinite Universe Problem Picture this. You're lying in bed, deciding whether to sleep or spiral into an existential wormhole. Naturally, your brain chooses the wormhole. It suddenly hits you that the universe might be infinite, like, actually infinite. Not really big. Not can't wrap your arms around it. But has no end, no boundaries. No cosmic fence with a sign that says beyond this point, nothing. And the best part? Nobody knows if that's true. Cosmologists have been poking the universe with telescopes, satellites, and math that looks like someone dropped spaghetti on a chalkboard. They've observed that space seems flat like a cosmic pancake, which suggests it could go on forever. But seems is doing a suspicious amount of heavy lifting here. Because if the universe curves ever so slightly, like a Costco-sized Pringle, it might wrap back on itself. Meaning you could travel in a straight line long enough and end up behind yourself like some intergalactic prank. Your brain tries to visualize this and immediately files a complaint. Because how do you imagine infinite? You can't. The human brain was built for things like fruit, predators, and guessing whether a stranger is about to ask you for directions. It was not built to conceptualize endless cosmic real estate. Scientists don't know if the universe is infinite, finite, donut-shaped, or secretly held together by laws we can't even detect yet. All we know is that space is expanding, galaxies are sprinting away like they forgot to pay a bill, and the observable universe is only a tiny bubble inside a much bigger something. Basically, cosmology is the intellectual equivalent of walking into a room and realizing you have no idea why you went in there except the room is 93 billion light years wide and possibly never ends. Number 5. Why we're conscious. Imagine waking up one morning, looking in the mirror and thinking, why am I me? Not in the dramatic teenage poetry way, but in the genuinely unsettling, how is it that this random meat computer is producing a first-person experience? Way. Congratulations, you've stumbled into one of the biggest mysteries science still has zero receipts for. Consciousness is the ultimate, we know it when we see it situation. You're aware. You have thoughts, feelings, memories, internal commentary, and that one embarrassing moment from three years ago that keeps playing in HD for absolutely no reason. But if someone asked you how any of that exists, you'd either give up or pretend to be on a phone call. Neuroscientists can point at brain regions and say, look, this lights up when you think about cheese. They can slice brain waves into pretty graphs. They can even predict simple decisions milliseconds before you make them. But none of that explains why there's an experience happening inside your skull. Why aren't humans just complicated robots with zero inner monologue and no ability to cringe at themselves at 3 a.m.? Some theories say consciousness is an emergent property, the brain's version of software spontaneously booting up. Others say it's everywhere a fundamental part of the universe like gravity but weirder. And then there's the possibility that consciousness is something we don't even have the scientific language to understand yet. It's like trying to describe Wi-Fi signals to a medieval farmer. They're not dumb. You're just speaking witchcraft. Nobody knows why consciousness happens. Nobody knows why you're you instead of anyone else. And nobody knows why your internal narrator sounds exhausted half the time. What we do know is that consciousness is real, it's bizarre, and entirely unexplained which is honestly kind of iconic. Number 4. Dark Matter Shenanigans Imagine walking into your house and realizing that 95% of everything in it is invisible, untouchable, silent, and refuses to pay rent but somehow still controls the structure of the entire place. That's the universe. Except instead of a house, it's reality. And instead of a freeloading roommate, it's dark matter. Here's the problem. Galaxies spin way too fast. Like, cartoonishly fast. If the only thing holding them together was the visible stuff, stars, planets, dust, that one rogue asteroid with divorce energy they'd all fling apart like cosmic pizza dough. But they don't. Something's gluing them together. Something heavy. Something everywhere. And something totally invisible. So scientists doing what scientists do, named it dark matter, which is science speak for, we have absolutely no idea what this is, but it's definitely there, we promise. Theories range from sensible to Okay, slow down there, buddy. Maybe dark matter is made of undiscovered particles. Maybe it interacts only through gravity. Maybe it's made of weird primordial leftovers from the early universe. Or maybe, and this is the fun part, gravity itself is broken, and we've been using the wrong equations since the beginning. Which would mean every physics textbook is as accurate as a toddler's treasure map. The best part? We've built giant detectors in mountains, underground bunkers, 
and old minds just begging dark matter to show up, and it's responded by ghosting humanity harder than your last situationship. Nothing. Not a blip. It's the ultimate cosmic introvert. So, for now, we're stuck with a universe held together by something we can't see, touch, measure, or explain. Basically, the universe is running on mystery glue, which feels on brand. Number three, time isn't real. You know that feeling when you glance at the clock, swear 10 minutes have passed, but it's actually been 43 years. Time is slippery like that. But here's the plot twist. Physicists don't actually know what time is, like, at all. The thing your entire life is scheduled around might just be a cosmic illusion with good PR. Einstein kicked the first domino when he showed that time doesn't flow the same for everyone. It stretches, bends, slows down, speeds up, basically. Time behaves like a drunk acrobat on roller skates. Move faster? Time slows. Get near a massive object? Time slows again. Sit on your couch eating leftover noodles? Time still slows. But that's just depression. But even beyond Einstein's funhouse physics, there's a bigger issue. Why does time move forward? Why not backward? Why not sideways? Why can't you wake up tomorrow in 1998 and warn everyone about social media? The universe gives us one direction forward but refuses to explain why. Some theorists think time isn't a fundamental part of reality. It might just be something our brains invented to stop the world from feeling like a chaotic slideshow of unrelated events. Others think the arrow of time only exists because entropy, the universe's love of messiness, keeps increasing. Basically, things fall apart, and time is just the scorekeeper. And then we get quantum mechanics, the part of science that shows up wearing clown shoes and a cape. On the quantum scale, particles don't seem to care about time at all. They behave the same forward or backward. Some interpretations even suggest the future can influence the past, which is rude and confusing. So yeah, time, the thing you obsess over, schedule around, and constantly run out of, might not be real in the way you think. It's the universe's version of a plot device. Number two, the deep sea mystery zone. Imagine diving into the ocean until everything looks like nighttime and depression had a baby. You keep sinking, past the point where sunlight dies, past creatures that look like Pokemon with tax problems, until you reach a place where the pressure is so strong it could fold a car like a tortilla. And down there in the pitch black, bone-crushing nothingness, Scientists keep finding things they absolutely cannot explain. The deep sea is Earth's final do-not-disturb setting. More than 80% of it remains unmapped, unseen, and totally unbothered by human curiosity, which means we've explored more of the moon and actual rock in space than the ocean we live on top of. The planet is essentially hiding its weirdest secrets right under our feet, like a petty roommate who keeps locking their bedroom door. We've found animals that glow like nightclub signs, sharks that live for hundreds of years, squid longer than a school bus, jellyfish that look like philosophical questions. And every time we send a new submersible down, it comes back with footage that makes scientists collectively go, okay, what the hell is that? There are sound anomalies too. Unexplained noises recorded deep underwater that don't match any known creature, submarine, earthquake, or natural phenomenon. They sound like giant animals, huge, monster movie huge. And every time someone suggests it might be a new species, science quietly coughs into its sleeve and changes the subject. And then there are the ecosystems thriving around hydrothermal vents, underwater volcano chimneys pouring chemicals into the ocean, supporting life that doesn't even need sunlight. Life that breaks every rule we thought was unbreakable. Life we didn't even know could exist. Basically, the deep sea is Earth's basement full of cosmic-level mysteries. And we're the clueless tenants upstairs pretending everything's fine. Number one why anything exists. Here's a fun mental exercise. Stare at literally anything around you, your hand, your desk, your questionable life choices, and ask yourself, why does this exist instead of nothing? Congratulations. You've just unlocked humanity's oldest, biggest, most migraine-inducing question. And despite thousands of years, entire libraries of philosophy, and more chalkboards destroyed than you can imagine, nobody, absolutely nobody has an answer. Physics has models for how the universe behaves, but not why it's here. The Big Bang explains how space expanded, how matter formed, how stars lit up like cosmic Christmas lights. But the Big Bang refuses to explain where it came from. It's like someone describing how a cake was made but refusing to acknowledge the oven. Maybe the universe came from a previous universe. Maybe it bubbled out of quantum nothingness, like a hiccup in the cosmic void. Maybe it's part of an infinite multiverse 
and we just happen to live in the one that didn't instantly collapse like a badly assembled IKEA shelf. There are theories beautiful, elegant, headache-inducing theories, but none of them have proof. And then there's the big plot twist. The laws of physics work almost too well. Matter exists, even though antimatter should have cancelled it out. Forces line up just right. Stars form. Planets form. Trees happen. You happen. Everything feels like a ridiculously convenient accident, and scientists are basically standing around going, yeah, so, uh, weird coincidence. Even the phrase something instead of nothing is complicated. What if nothing isn't actually possible? What if the default state of the universe is something, and we're all just confused because our brains evolved to avoid wolves, not contemplate metaphysical existence? At the end of the day, the biggest question we can ask the question underneath every other mystery is still totally unanswered. Why does anything exist at all? Why is there space, time, atoms, consciousness, pizza, heartbreak, joy, dark matter, awkward eye contact, literally anything? We might never know. The universe refuses to submit a thesis statement. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.